Will Deadpool and Wolverine save MCU? Let's see. Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go. Thor Love and Thunder's garbage. She Hulk garbage. Eternals garbage. The Marvel's garbage. Doctor Strange 2 Multiverse of Disappointment. Black Panther 2 garbage. Falcon and the Winter Solitaire's garbage. What if watchable cartoon? Ms. Marvel's Mid Marvel. Secret Invasion more garbage. Black Widow garbage widow. Shanchi's Mid Chi. Spider Man 3's fan service. Loki TV show garbage. And Ant Man 3's mother of garbage. Oh! Oh! Oh, damn! Let the window down! Oh, it's just a little flatulence. Oh, a little flatulence? An elephant could take a shit in the back seat and it wouldn't smell that bad. So as we have seen, Marvel and Disney has been making shit after shit for the past few years. Since Avengers Endgame, it seems like Marvel and Disney people have lost their balls to the activist kinds. So, I am going to spend the next minute screaming. Because that is what is going on in here. That is what the trans genocide in this country, in this city, has brought me to. Making woke and woke adjacent movies and TV shows, it seems like they're making up for all the past anti-woke movies and shows. For example, they never made a female-led superhero movie until DC did it first with Wonder Woman. Plus Harvey Weinstein and the entire woke Twitter birth made Disney and other Hollywood studios too interested in woke projects in order to virtue signal which side they're on. It's no longer 1937, and we absolutely wrote a Snow White that she's is... not going to be yeah. saved by the prince. She's not going to be saved by the prince, and she's not going to be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! So where does Deadpool and Wolverine fit into the new woke era? Well, let's start with the name. The name Deadpool and Wolverine suggests that the film would be more of a buddy cop kind of a project similar to Lethal Weapons with Mel Gibson and the Black Dude. Oh, what do you want to hear, man? Do you want to hear that sometimes I think about eating a bullet? Huh? Well, I do. I do. I even got a special one for the occasion with a hollow point. Look, make sure it blows the back of my goddamn head out. Do the job right. Every single day I wake up and I think of a reason not to do it every single day. Oh, oh. Here I come. Oh, here I come. Oh. You know what it is. It's made out of adamantium. That's what they buy inside of us. I got this a long time ago, and I kept it as a reminder of what I am. Now I keep it to, uh... Actually, I, uh... I was thinking of shooting myself with it. Ryan Reynolds has made movies like this before with Dwayne Johnson. It was called The Red One or Red Notice, I don't remember. It's a Netflix movie, a forgettable buddy cop movie. Why are you wearing the hairnet? You're bald. After all the failures Marvel and Disney has made and all the box office losses they've become used to since 2019, it seems like Disney and Marvel would do their best not to overtly virtue signal through Deadpool 3. Learn, the past Deadpool movies also have woke left-wing tropes like Teenage Ninja Turtle being a lesbian in Deadpool 2, them bantering about homophobia. Wade, Yukio. Yukio, Wade. What in the fuck knuckles is this? She's my girlfriend, you intolerant shit. Whoa! Pump the hate breaks, Fox and Friends. I'm just surprised anyone would date you. Later they even touched about physical abuse the young boy experienced through the hands of the orphanage in charges because he is different. Now X-Men comics have always been an allegory for homosexuality and race differences, Magneto being a Jew and his entire story is about him fighting the Nazis. Similarly Professor Charles Xavier is Martin Luther King, at least that's whom the comic was based on, Magneto also represented Malcolm X. 
a revolutionary who sought to fight racism through violence and terrorism, unlike Charles Xavier or Martin Luther King. The whole underlying principle of the X-Men was to try to be an anti-bigotry story, to show that there's good in everything. So basically, yes, the X-Men characters have always been about fighting hateful bigots, and today's world Marvel and Disney would use this idea to taunt anti-woke people. Brand a larger percentage of people as racist, sexist, transphobic, misogynists. That's exactly what they have done through Falcon and Winter Solider and even She-Hulk. Is there a problem here? No, we just talk. We're fine. Just sir, just calm down. I am calm. What do you want? We're just standing here talking. Just give him your ID. No, so I'm not giving him shit. We're just talking. Hey, hey, look, is this guy bothering me? No, he's you? not bothering me. Do you know who this is? Kill me. Wait. So it's quite certain woke wannabe employees at Disney would squeeze in political pandering into Deadpool 3 for woke social points. However, based on Ryan Reynolds' track record of bravely and fiercely hiding wokeness through light humor, we can expect mildly political banters left and right. <laughs> Tom, you racist son of a bitch! Can you turn off the music? You'll do no such thing. Once you. again, intolerance rears its ugly head. I am so sorry. It gets bad. Not a fucking racist moron. That's precisely what a racist would say. However, I'm sure Disney has learned their lesson and would do their best to hide such political correctness covered through humor. Even in Thor Ragnarok, Thor talked about female empowerment. You're a Valkyrie. You know, I used to want to be a Valkyrie when I was younger. Until I found out that you were all women. There's nothing wrong with women, of course. I love women. Sometimes a little too much. Not in a creepy way. It's just more of a respectful appreciation. I think it's great that there is a, an elite force of women warriors. It's about time. Oh. 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 Like I said, sprinkled with humor. Now let's examine the trailer they've launched. It seems like Deadpool and Wolverine would travel through multiple universes and timelines in order to save Deadpool's family and friends. And based on the said premise, Logan aka Wolverine has already destroyed his universe probably by causing an incursion. Most likely he didn't kill Jean and the Dark Phoenix destroyed that universe or else Logan went back in time Doctor Strange style. Trying to save Jean which led to him causing an incursion similar to Doctor Strange from What If TV show. I'll never hurt you or anyone ever again. I made a vow. It's too late. No! The female characters, one of them is Cassandra Nova, Professor's ex's twin sister. Much more powerful than Charles, it seems like she's after him because the dude killed Charles Xavier to save the world or to save Jean Grey. Uh, go fuck yourself. However, she would be the main baddie of the show. I'm sure Deadpool would crack jokes about another bald Xavier. <laughs> The movie seems like is bringing back other X-Men characters from the dead, like Jennifer Garner as Elektra, Sabretooth, Toad, Lady Deathstrike, Azazel. Is that everyone? But you wanted more? Seems like all these characters were prone to the void at the end of time, exactly where Loki was sent to in Loki Season 1. I'm pretty sure our Wolverine and Deadpool gets prone to the void where they have to fight other X-Men characters and villains in order to get out of the void. Kill me. We're nearly done. Jesus. Maybe even gets trapped in other multiverses with other characters. I'm sure Ryan Reynolds and Disney has learned enough not to remake the mistakes from Doctor Strange 2 and maybe make another Spider-Man 3 fan service. Mm. Oh, there it goes. Huh. <laughs> you okay? Oh, it's my back. It's kind of stiff from all the swinging, I guess. You, you want me to crack it? Yeah. yeah. Wait a minute! I broke my back! Yes! 
with all other X-Men characters returning for the buddy movie adventure. Wokeness and political correctness has destroyed Hollywood. Comedy movies are no longer being made. Wokeness no longer is exciting movie lovers. The MCU itself is the evidence. What else you gonna do as a Hulk? Uh, return to my career that I have spent years building. Use my law degree that I am still paying off a fortune in student loans for. <laughs> Here's the thing, Bruce. I'm great at controlling my anger. Mm. I do it all the time. When I'm catcalled in the street, when incompetent men explain my own area of expertise to me, I do it pretty much every day because if I don't, I will get called emotional or difficult or might just literally get murdered. <laughs> The once great Marvel Studios is now nothing but tiresome garbage that nobody wants. That's why shows like Invincible and The Boys are doing well and MCU isn't. Think, Mark! You're Ryan Reynolds is well aware about the tiresome MCU and director Sean Levy has made great comedies like Night at the Museum franchise, Real Steel, Free Guy, The Adam Project. Dude has one of the best resumes in Hollywood for comedies. Who better to handle Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds in a movie together? Come on! What is that? What are you doing? He's doing his Wolverine thing. Yeah. AM sure Deadpool 3 would be an epic times at the cinemas and wouldn't disappoint fans of X-Men. No political correctness and no left-wing pandering. No woke tropes. Let's wait and find out, my friends. If you don't like it, I'll f find you. Whoa, whoa! Why won't he just say the line? Uh, this, this might be my fault. <laughs>